So, I just arrived at Shoe Palace, actually the Florida Mall, heading to Shoe Palace, hoping to do the... Yeah, what's good, man? How you doing, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just met a homie who watched the channel. Shoe Palace. Let's see if they got the the bread ones up. Nah, they got the Yeezys though. The MX Rocks. All right, so while we in here, might as well take a look at some shoes, man. What are these? The uh, Center Quartz and this Olive Colorway. 134 is the price. Orange or red. Your Jordan Wings logo on the back heel. Do got the 36 or 35s. Uh, I can't tell the difference between these joints. These are the 36. I'm still in Shoe Palace. Take a look at these Air Force Ones, y'all. These are different. These look like they could be a Nike ID. Let me see, they got that smoke out outsole. Yup, not mad at it. However, what I don't like are these. Smiley face on the side. I have a Nike 100 beans for these though. I thought it would be like have a Nike day, but nah, I don't think these are it. Oh, these are fire. I like these Air Max 95s, yo. These are dope. Must be a new colorway. Uh, blue and white, 170 beans. Not mad at it, man. This color been here though, man. Amphasite black, red. What's that? Uh, oh, they call it gray. Not Amphasite. Okay. Their rules. Their shoes, they make the rules. So a subscriber told me to come through this Jersey spot in the Florida mall. So here I am, checking it out just to see what's popping in here. They got a whole bunch of jerseys. This is like movie theme, like board game, Monopoly. Then you got the Martin over there. Um, you got the Will Smith as well. He played for Bel Air Academy, number 14, and that maroon and yellow. Over here is like the high school. The reason why I'm saying that, because they got the Bethel, obviously in yellow and green joint when he played football and basketball for this school right here. I forgot who else played for Bethel. I don't know who that is. You got Delaney, Michael Jordan, number 23. LeBron, 23 as well. Iris, Simeon, I guess. That's Derrick Rose. That's in Chicago. McDonald's All-American, Crenshaw, number eight, play on Kobe and the Lakers. And then they got the little Mary when Kobe played Philadelphia. He read number 33. This is the Garnett jersey too as well. Yeah, number 34. He played for Farragut High School along with Ronnie Fields. Who remember that duo, yo? Crazy, yo. Kevin Garnett, Ronnie Fields in Chicago back in the 90s. On my way out, they got a whole bunch of uh, jackets as well. Is that Scarface? Who is that? Crenshaw. All right. Oh, hoodies over there. Well, I'm out of here. All right, finally, they posted Air Jordan 1 patent breads in store raffle Tuesday, 1228. So that's what we got to go by, y'all. So right now I'm in champ, so check these questions out. I haven't seen these before, yo. Three by questions going for 150. I'm not sure what these are called, though. Oh, this is the Shaq and uh, Dame Dollar. 100 beans for those. These do remind me of the ones. That's why I like these so much, yo. They're the top tens. The top tens, what they call them? I think they call them the top tens, yo. I like this burgundy colorway. There's another colorway, the Yankee blue. 100 beans for these. I like those. As far as Ultra Boost, they got these shirts with the lettering, the Chinese lettering. I like them, man. Salt and pepper look. 180 is the price. These are regular Ultra Boost DNA, right? Yep, 5.0s, man. Not mad at these. I like these as well. There's another salt and pepper, but it doesn't have the um, Chinese lettering on the, on the outsole. 150. Yo, just left champs. Yo, these Air Jordan 1s is gonna be crazy hard. Right now, True Palace clearly is not doing the raffle until Tuesday. I contact the TLR, they're not doing it until Tuesday. Also, Men's Closet said they check their IG. They probably ain't doing it until Tuesday. So, we gotta wait one more day, y'all. DTLR is doing it on Tuesday, but they don't have men's pair. They only have like GS sizes, youth sizes. So, that's gonna be a hassle, y'all. Yeah, man. These shoes are gonna be tough, bro. They're gonna be. Jordan 11's all over again with less quantity. And I'm hearing crazy issues with like retail pairs, like your foot traffic sites, like pairs are going missing off of trucks. Um, a lot of pairs not being delivered. So, man, look, it's gonna be a messy release, man. So good luck to everybody. If you live in Orlando, follow those few tips, those few leads I just provide you, pull up and see if you can cop, man. All right, hope you guys enjoy this content. Damn, I got a pimple. Day two, I'm trying to get these Air Jordan 1 breads, man. Yesterday was a complete waste in the sense that no location I went to or visited was doing a raffle system. The raffle system was all today, Tuesday. Anyways, I get on the road and hunt for these Air Jordan 1 breads or do the raffle for them. We got about three locations we gotta go to. Taking the VIP shortcut today. Since the mall be packed, yo, got this little spot I park at come through this little tunnel. And as soon as I open this door, shoot palace is gonna be right in front of us. 
But anyways, man, they did another drop today on finish line of D or JD Sports. I was too late for that. They did one yesterday. That was a failed attempt. And today obviously was a failed attempt. But anyways, let's hope I win a raffle over here at Shoe Palace, man. Let's go inside to a spot. Bro, there's a line, so I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping real quick. There's something I wanna pick up at Lids, and I'm gonna come back and get in the line. Then we out of here, we'll go to the next spot. So I cop what I need to from Lids, man. The price was even cheaper than I expected too, yo. Check this out. There was a line earlier, so I decided to go to Lids real quick and then come right back. No one is in here too, bro. Hey, what's up? I'm gonna talk the raffle. The line was like way back there. All right, yo, so it's a wrap, man. We got to stop at DTLR first, man. DTLR is up next. Then we head over to the west side to Men's Closet. Before I get out here, yo, peep this car real quick. What is this, a Model T? What is that? <laughs> what is that, y'all? I'm not mad at it, though. Ain't no Tesla, but I ain't mad at it. How many miles it got on there? 663. 63 miles on there, y'all. 63 miles on it. Damn. Actually, there he goes, man. Him and his kid. I don't even know if they got seatbelts in that thing. All right, y'all. Second location, DTLR. Oh, I like that Bulls hat. I like it too, yo. Peep the shoes. Got the bread toes on, y'all. What's this, 217, 2018 release? Anyways, we at DTLR. I thought this raffle. Hopefully, I win, y'all. While I'm in here, I'm going to take a look at some shoes, man. I do like these here. Max 95s. These are dope. I like these, but they're going for retail. Yeah, I think they got to be retail. Presto 400 beans, not bad. They got the 270s in here. All right. There ain't much in here, man. Nothing at all. Oh, they got the Obsidian 13s. But these are youth joints. Small sizes. They got the Pumas and whatnot. 95s. 89 for these new Air Maxes. That's it. They got the Tims, Lugs, Pumas. And that's it, yeah. Anyways, let's flex out of here. Oh, they got the Jordan 1 mids. Is this Obsidian and white? Could be. Not sure. Retail gang though. All right, so that's a wrap. They don't have men's sizes. They still only have kid sizes, GS sizes. So I looked out for the sis. You're welcome. Hopefully I win. If I win, you win. All right. It looks like it's gonna rain, right? But I think that's just the camera. But look at Orlando skyline. It was a little bit more sunnier. There's so many clouds over our skyline. That's downtown Orlando, y'all. We about to go to the west side, so I got to jump on another highway to head over here. Shouldn't be too long. About eight minutes drive. YouTube time, two seconds. Life is what you make it. Life shit been amazing. I can't see a way out. I've been stacking face down off canvases. I paint it. I just spent the rain day on shit I can't afford, but that's the price I pay for the memories I'm making. I've been going places. I've been shaking hands for a chance to really make it. This life is so brave. So I just pulled to men's closet. Told y'all, about two seconds for y'all. The drive wasn't too far. This ain't the first time I make this type of trip, man. Before 2020, man, I so always do that. DTLR, and it comes straight over here. And I was winning too. But you already know how all that changed. They still got the Gore-Tex. Damn, I wanted this pair. That's funny, when it came, you didn't, you didn't really post Damn. it. Damn. You just put it out there. That's how you're supposed to do it. So... I was talking to one of the guys that work here, owner. I remember him back when I was in college, man. And he was just giving me the skinny. He said, you don't got much in stock. But they got the LeBron Sprites here. They got the Prestos. They got the Harajis. I like these. The Lowe's, Air Force Lowe's. But they don't got me on white. He said, that's a crazy seller. He said, yeah, limit to people to two per person. So they don't got much stock, man. And they still got these right here. And the music is not blurring, so... No and we're done, y'all. I'm done with the raffle at Men's Closet. Hopefully I win. Hopefully I win, y'all. Talked to the owner for a while. Good conversation. He's giving me the skinny about how all this stuff is working. It's crazy how how raffle releases are, how shipment is, is being handled. Yo, there's a struggle for everybody, man. Not just the consumers, man. The owners, the retail shops, the foot traffic sites and everything. But anyways, man. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go to Hiawasi and do the second detail on raffle. I don't know if I should because I think they only got grade schools. My thought, what I'll do is I'll call over there and see if they got men's pair. If they do, I head over there. If they don't, we'll take it back to the crib. Nope. DTLR Hiawasi do not have men's pairs. So, I'm taking it to the crib. And I'm back in the sneaker office, man. Yo, what a day. It's completed. The mission has been completed. I fill out a raffle at several different locations. 
Shoe Palace, DTLR, and Men's Closet are doing in-store raffles. So if you're watching this video and it's not too late, pull up to the store if you live in Orlando or pull up to those stores if you live in Orlando. That said, man, there's nothing more to do other than pray to the sneaker guys that you get up here. And my son is downstairs making a whole bunch of noise, man. So I'm gonna wrap it up. And my arm's getting tired <laughs> too as well. But anyways, man, I wish everyone luck at getting these shoes. I did a previous video about my strategy on copping. So if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch. Also updated the description and also pinned my comment on the locations that's doing in-store raffle if you live in Orlando. Whether you visit in or you're a resident of Orlando, man, I hope that information helped you guys out. I also took some time to talk to the owner of Men's Closet and he was describing a whole bunch of ah issues with this whole sneaker game in the culture he says it's not fun no more i totally understand him it's not fun no more for the collectors the rockers man it's almost like the game has changed to be a resale game bro so it is what it is anyways happy holidays i'm not sure if I, yeah i got more videos coming before new year's i'm not sure any current videos gonna be recorded or shot before New Year's, man. And New Year's, we come back with a bang. I promise you, man, this whole room's gonna look different. I promise you, hold me accountable to that, man. So that's why I don't got my usual setup, man. Anyways, I'm out of here. Thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And everyone, keep leaving those comments down below and your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, till we meet again, you already know my slogan. Good to go. Peace.